Hello YouTube, Maisie here. Got a parcel delivered. I thought I'd open it with you guys and ladies of course and uh, see what showed up. So let's have a look and see what the um, which is the easiest way to open this. Mm, I reckon we'll do it upside down. Okay, got the scissors here. Let's see what's in the box. I had to wait, Charlotte. Charlotte's sleeping at the moment. I think Mummy might be feeding. Oh look. Wonder what these taste like. Mm, 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 yeah. Well, it looks like it's well packed. Anyone on YouTube want some of these? Here. Yeah. I oh, can't pass them to you, eh? Oh, we'll pile them up over here. Now let me think. What's in here? Oh, it's a little bag. Oh, cool. Oh, look. It's a shunt. Cool. So, I've got the shunt to uh, connect to those bus bars. Pretty heavy. Okay, to give you an idea how big it is, here's our, um, I won't show you where I got it from, our um, universal measuring tool, the uh, cigarette lighter. I don't smoke, but I've got this for measuring purposes and light the barbie. Alright, so it's just about as big as the uh, cigarette lighter. Cool. What else is in the box? Oh, another little parcel. We'll just put that down and see if there's anything else in the box. It's a, it's a big box for a shunt. Oh, it looks like I've got tea for later. Yum, yum. Okay. What's in this one? Oh, anyone heard of that? Whiz Bang Junior. Cool. <laughs> so, see, let's see what they look like. Uh, the uh, YouTube channel I looked at on the Whizbang Junior. I don't know what the size is really, but we'll open it up. There you go. You're opening it up with me, YouTube. It's got a couple of parts to put on there. I'm sure the instructions will tell me how. It's not very big, eh? It's got a purple wire around here purple means that it's recycled water in the dripper lines that they put in the parks so I don't think this would be recycled water it might be something to help me tell how many amp hour are left in my batteries and how much uh, amps go in and out cool so we'll get the universal measuring tool out and it's not it's about not much, not much longer than a cigarette lighter. So cool. That's my Whiz Bang Junior to uh, from Midnight Solar to uh, connect the shunt to the batteries. So they tell me I can do lots of wonderful things with this. There's a YouTube channel on Midnight Solar and they'll explain how to inst install it. I won't uh, get around to it. But it looks like it just screws on those two screws. Alright YouTube, I hope that's a bit more information. Just doing some improvements on my new control board as I'm upgrading it all and setting it up neat and tidy. Alright, we'll see you again. Maisie out. Okay, YouTube. I'm going to show you a little bit more. It's not as easy as it looks. You've got different size screws and uh, bolts and bits and pieces. Put it on. But they've got a, a diagram of how it's put together. Cool. So... It took me a little bit. Uh, by the looks of it, you take the original screws, you take the washer off, the washer off, 
and then they fit in there and then they've got a small spacer it looks like the small spacer goes on there and then you just screw it to the side so it's a little bit off the shunt uh, I take it that's for the um, bit of heat so it just screws on looks a bit tricky to do the other one so I just somehow get that all in there yeah a little bit tricky so let's try because I've, I've looked on YouTube and there's not many too many videos out there at the moment of how to put your shunt together with the whiz bang junior so let's try it like this the old big screwdriver out. I hope I'm not shattering the light too much. And then we'll just try to get it in the hole. It's been so long since I had a hole. You grab the small ones. It's got uh, comes with some bigger ones and some bigger screws, but it says that's for a th third party. So obviously, if you're already using your shunt and you've got a, a shunt connection, you it's got a O terminal on there. So what I've worked out is we put it on like that. So you've got to have it facing so the negative of the batteries will go in this end and the bus bar to the inverters and charge controllers will go on this side so let's see if I have a bit better attempt in putting this together the screws are only just long enough Do them not too tight because you'll probably break something. And this is this is something new on the market. It's only out recently. I, I found it on the the YouTube Midnight Solar channel. So I thought I'd give it a go. Alright, that's how you mount it. It's got some spaces that go in there. You take uh, I can't work out if you need these screws, but I can't see that in the instructions. Alright.